my dream summer wardrobe, something like very avant-garde, very like Ghani inspired, very Copenhagen meets, oh my Jesus, it's hot outside. <laughs> since I have done a thrift flip. I have uh, accumulated a lot of thrifted items since my last thrift flip video and I need to do them all. It is not a 24 hour challenge, which I predict to be a very big issue for me. We'll see what happens there, but let's get into this thrift flip video. The first thing I have is this little red silky cami top. I mentioned it in my previous thrift haul. I've been in love with the slip top for a very long time. It's very French-esque and it reminds me of what a Parisian girl would wear. So when I saw this in the aisle, I decided to get it. The only problem, it is a little bit too large for me. So all I have to do is take it down on both sides. I honestly didn't really need to sketch this because it doesn't need that much work, but I didn't want her to feel left out because everybody else is gonna get a sketch except her, even though she is so cute and she deserves one. So this thrift flip might be a little bit of a cheat because it's not technically a thrift flip. All I'm doing is tailoring it. I'm taking it in one inch on each side of the shirt. All I have to do is pin it and measure it out and sew along that line. It's a little bit of a cheat, but I think it's important to know how to make your clothes fit you better. And I think when you can do that, it really does transform the clothing so that it almost looks like it's a new thing. So long story short, this is the exception, I think, to a thrift flip. And this is how it came out. I am so excited with this final product. I think this shirt is fantastic. It is serving me all the Parisian vibes. And I think it looks beautiful with jeans. It's just so effortless and chic. It just also looks so expensive. Like you cannot tell that I got this from the lingerie slash underwear section of a thrift store, which tends to be really gross, but this just came out so great. And I left the excess fabric on the side tucked in because just in case you know you fluctuate in weight I have the option to let it out so it is so versatile I just imagine this with a really cute skimpy sandal some jeans and a nice little Aperol spritz in the summertime and I think that is that is the vibe now we're gonna be progressively getting harder with our thrift flip. The next thrift flip we have is this little sweater dress moment. I bought this thinking it was super cute. It just doesn't work on me. It doesn't fit me well. It's not a great length. It's not a great style. I bought it because I thought I was serving hot teacher vibes, but that's not, no. I personally have never found luck in buying sweater dresses and I go on a spiel about how sweater dresses are all horrible while I'm wearing one, which is like very nice and hypocritical of me. However, in my very weak defense, this dress looks like a Paloma will knock off and I love that and I love that brand. So, you know. So let's talk design. I've been really into the sweater vest trend that is kind of seeping into the summertime. So I want to make the dress into a sweater vest. Ideally, I wanted it to be navy, but oh well. Anyways, the initial thoughts are to take it in a little bit and crop it. And that's where I am right now. I know what you must be thinking. I can't imagine a piece of clothing that's any worse for a summer under boob sweat. However, sometimes we need to make sacrifices. As you can see, it's a very long dress. Um, I don't want that. So I'm going to crop it here, I think. I need to get rid of this um, shag carpet thing going on here. And I don't know what this is, but I need to get rid of that. Here I use another sweater vest as a guide to get a general cropping shape. And then I obviously give it a haircut. I think it looks horrible. So the first thing I need to majorly crop this, I need to get rid of this collar thing. It's just not working for me. It's just not, it's just not, it's not working. So now all I do is cut off this cowl neck and crop it a little bit more. So I layered a little collared shirt to give a little bit of an idea of what we're going for. We're going for preppy, we're going for preppy chic, we're going for does she have class at nine o'clock? I need to crop this baby. And I am gonna um, cut it a little bit here so that a little bit more of the collar can come out. And I'm gonna take it in a little bit. With this extra fabric from the rest of the dress, I might turn it into a little skirt, which seems like very counterintuitive. When you think summer, I, I usually don't think matching sweater set. I've already cropped this, I don't know how many different times, and I've already cut the neck off how many different times, but it still wasn't enough. 
I'm an absolute dumbass and didn't realize that the inside lining of this was the navy that I wanted, so then I flipped around this sweater vest to my perfect sweater vest color. And this is how the thrift flip came out. It is absolutely amazing. It is so much better than that stupid sweater dress before. It is way more flattering. And I love it because it looks exactly like all the pins that I've been pinning on my Pinterest board. And so I decided to really lean in on this Pinterest idea and like copy the same poses that I saw in those pictures. She's a street style queen. Oh my God, love it. But also, I, I do love it. It's great. I'm really excited about it. And when I'm feeling bold or not bold because this color orange is like a very just regular color, I can flip it inside out to kind of like blend in with, you know, the beige. I'm excited to be completely sweaty and really gross in the summer because a sweater vest is never really a practical thing to wear in the hot humidity of June, but, you know, fashion. <laughs> final dress, which is by far probably the most intensive of the three thrift flips, is this gingham moment. So I thrifted this dress six months ago over the winter time, anticipating it for the summer because I loved the blue gingham. It was very bright, cute, very cool. And I thought that there was potential in the dress. The only problem is it was a lot bigger than I thought, but I thought I could just take it in on the sides and it would be the same beautiful dress, but a little bit more fitted for me. I didn't fully understand that little keyhole opening thing, but also that really high ruffle neckline. It's honestly a little bit weird, um, but I didn't want to go through the effort of like closing that up and then it looking horrible and like seven more rounds of seam ripping, so I decided to just leave it. Also, it was kind of giving me Ghani vibes. I don't know how many times I'm going to say Ghani in this video, but I absolutely love Ghani and I'm going to say that one more time. I really love the brand Ghani. Anyways, the first step of this thrift flip is separating the skirt from the top. And after that simple, easy step, I found a way to make this difficult. So I have a dilemma. I just cut the dress, but now I try it on as just a top and I kind of absolutely love it. It's kind of like a Ghani wannabe, like the Target version of what a Ghani item of clothing would look like. So I needed to pivot the design and transform the dress into what I thought would be a great idea, which is a two-piece set. But the more I draped it, the more I realized I would never wear this skirt on its own. And it also was like not that cute. Also, the top didn't look good as a two-piece set, unfortunately. It just wasn't working for me. So I hit a creative rut when it comes to this stupid blue dress. I still have so much fabric. I was thinking something along the lines of this shirt, maybe, sort of. Yeah, I think, I think that's good. All right, to install the elastic at the top of the shirt, I took the measured elastic that fits my body and I marked the halfway point. This halfway point, I'm going to pin to the middle of the fabric and then I'm going to pull the elastic to reach the end of the fabric. So it's a lot of pulling, a lot of zigzag stitching. Be patient because otherwise you're gonna have to do a lot of seam ripping. So I absolutely hate this top. It does not look the way I wanted it to do. First and foremost, I need to bring down the elastic because I want a little bit more ruffle. This is a little bit too childish looking for me in my opinion and I think the straps were pinned weird so I'm going to redo the elastic meaning I have to seam rip. So it's made me redoing the, my thrift flips and I also decided to go to a Target sale section and I found this dress and I couldn't say no because it kind of reminds me of something Ghani would make and I'm kind of obsessed with Ghani right now. It's got that baggy chic thing going for it, but I kind of want to have a snatched moment. What I decided is I'm going to finish the Target dress as a distraction and maybe completing something will make me feel rejuvenated, re-energized to finish the other shirt thing. So the goal for this dress is just to make it more snatched and the problem becomes there were so many different layers of this dress which meant I spent probably like hours seam ripping. So all I had to do was seam rip the skirt from the bodice. The bodice still had the lining of the skirt so I left that be. I flipped it inside out and brought in the sides of the shirt bodice thing. Then I did a basting stitch on the skirt. I reattached it to the new bodice. 
And that was essentially it. And here is the final look. I know it doesn't look that much different from what it was before, but it does feel more tailored. It feels more broad in, and I feel more comfortable in it. So I guess that's all that matters. As I was reconstructing this dress, I was on Pinterest as I do, and I found this picture of a clown. And well, I may or may not be appropriating clown culture. And this kind of like made me spiral and think about all the other things that I do like. There are so many things about French old fashioned clown fashion that uh, is kind of like making its way back in. I'm talking balloon sleeves, dramatic collars, ruffles, and even a little bit of bright colors. And if you happen to see some overlap between this and Ghani fashion, I'm not saying anything, but I love Ghani and I also like clown fashion update it is my seventh outfit change of the day so i'm inspired by this dress it's like a little puff moment it's like literally um serving the ariana grande puff chicness and i'm inspired by that to fully commit to making this gingham shirt puffy moment all right design number 772 this took a lot of work and a lot of thinking and i finally came to the conclusion that i want to make a baby doll inspired shirt i'm going to add elastic at the top so it's cinched in and then i'm going to add some two straps to have it be a little bit more exciting a little bit more of a summer top i want to add some drama in the back so i'm going to have it be really low back with the excess fabric from the straps i'm going to make a belt so I have the option to belt the shirt if I want it. So it's a little bit more versatile. All right, we are starting from scratch once again. I am now measuring where I want the elastic, which is going to be a little bit lower than last time so we don't have an issue. And I am going to once again zigzag stitch it in. Once again, I made sure to mark the middle part of the elastic, pin it to the middle of the shirt, and then pull the elastic with a zigzag stitch. I sewed in the straps and finished off the detachable belt, and that was it. I'm finally done with this horrible project. I mean, fantastic. And here are the final looks. It was really simple, and it really did not look like it would be able to provide this much output from that dress. The piece de resistance, the thing that kept me up for five nights straight wondering what I would design, is this top. It came out really cute. I like that it kind of has like this upside down U thing going on with the neckline. The straps are really cute. I like that they're a little bit thick. I didn't expect I would like it as much. And the belt really transforms the shirt and makes it really versatile and different. And when you take off the belt, you have this like baby doll moment and it's really cute. I do this little half tuck thing. I like to call it my signature little half tuck. I don't know if it's a lazy move or if it just like adds like a weird structure to the top but i think it adds a lot it looks so cute with jeans it's just fun and i'm really glad that i was able to kind of create this out of that leftover fabric that i hated so much so excited to wear these things so thanks so much for watching this video i hope you liked it as you can see i'm already wearing some of my thrift flipped items and that's a good sign because that means i actually like them and they will actually get good use thank god i know my problem with these thrift flips was i did not give myself a 24 hour deadline which seems to be the best thing for me i need strong hard deadlines i hope you like this video if you did like comment subscribe do the things all the way durr and i'll see you in the next one bye